hi welcome to my video today i'm using a trifold card which is five by seven and some papers from the beach life range by trimcraft i'm just here going to choose this green paper as a base layer on each side of the card and i'm just measuring basically i'm taking off a quarter of an inch of the side size of the card to give a little eighth of an inch border so I've got my two green pieces of base layer and now I'm going to choose a patterned piece again taking a quarter of an inch off to leave an eighth of an inch border all the way around and we'll get those stuck down now there we go that's all done so now I'm going to use a topper that came with the Beach Life set it's a, a thickish card um, but I'm going to put it on a, a layer of white card which I'm measuring at three and three quarters by uh, let me see two and a half and I'm going to use my we are memory keepers corner jumper to uh, shape the corners the same as the topper i think that's called a stub um, corner handy little machine but i'm now looking at it thinking it needs a little bit of color on it it's a bit too um pale really so I'm now going to choose a piece of the bright green card as a, another layer to go underneath. And we're just going to cut that down to a, <clears throat> so that it's literally just a little bit peeping out around the edge, just to get, give it a bit of a color. So it's not so pale. So we'll cut that green to size and um, we'll do use the corner chomper on that again. I think that looks better so here we go give the corners a, a chomp and then we can stick that all together that looks much better I think just need a little bit of color the white was a bit too stark so we'll get that all stuck down and it'll look nice on the card Here we go. And remember the whole piece needs to just be glued one half so that it's stuck on the left hand side of your card. Oh, here I've got some glue on my topper and I'm using my adhesive eraser, which is really good for taking any extra bits of glue off that have managed to get on your project. So, now that's going to go midway and we'll open up like this. So we'll get that stuck down and that's it. Now I've decided that the inside is quite a big white expanse so I'm going to put some coloured paper and some card inside here. So I've cut some of the lime green again to go inside as a base layer and then I'm going to put in some lemon card uh, just measuring it there found some nice a pretty lemon color which we will put on the top glue it all together there we go it's light enough to write your greeting on so let's get all this stuck together there we are using my adhesive eraser again to get some little bits of glue off which have strayed now that looks pretty 
but it does need something else. I'm not going to leave it like that. We need to embellish more. So I've got some nice lime green ribbon. This is from Stampin' Up, I believe. And um, I'm going to use my bow maker to make a double bow. When I get myself, um, get it all untwisted. Here we go. It is much more straightforward than it looks. I'm making a bit of a hash of it here. Fingers and thumbs, I think, is the word. So we tie it off, make sure the knot is central and pull it tight. There we go. Give it a check. Pull the, uh, the ends upwards to tighten it and we have a fairly decent double bow there. So that's going to be attached onto the corner like that. Very pretty. And I shall use some red sticky tape, just a little bit, to stick that to my card. It's good stuff this. Just need a little bit, although I think I actually cut off too much. So I have to trim it off. Make sure your bows are in the right place before you stick your sticky tape down because otherwise they won't move afterwards. There we go. Stuck nicely. Now I'm going to decorate that topper with some glittered enamel dots in a lovely lime green colour. There we go. Three there. Now I'm just going to finish off the inside with some of the Beach Life Bunting. <clears throat> it comes in various sizes in the pack and different patterns. So I'm just going to arrange them until I like what I've got and then stick them down. And then I'm going to use some of the jute twine that was in the little packet to act as a string to keep them all together just for effect of course and I'm just going to put a tiny little bead of Tombow above those buntins to uh, keep it all together and there you go I hope you like it thank you for joining me and see you in the next video bye for now